Hello, and welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. How are you? What a gorgeous day it is today. Well, today is the first day in spring, and so many of us also call it No Ruz. Well, what is No Ruz? No Ruz is the beginning of a new day. It is the Persian New Year. So why am I talking about No Ruz? Because here's something most people don't know about me. I was born in Iran. And when I was in my early teens, we immigrated to the United States. And I've been here since uh, junior high school. Well, so many call it middle school nowadays. So in Iran, we learned to celebrate uh, Happy Nowruz, which is the new year, the Persian New Year. Being an Armenian, I also celebrate Christmas, especially because I'm Catholic and I celebrate Christmas. Uh, December 24th. I went to all-girls Catholic school and also a part of our curriculum, our studies, was that we had to study not only Farsi, Armenian, Arabic, and a foreign language. So most European countries and even in Middle East, they require not only the language of the country, but you also get to learn your own language. Well, in the school that I went, because it was all-girls Catholic Armenian school with the nuns, that so many of the nuns came from Beirut and uh, spoke French. So our foreign language was either English or French. We become so multicultural, coming from other countries to United States. So a part of being in America is this multicultural being that we embody is immigrants from different countries who we accept and become a United States citizen. A citizen of the United States and I've been a citizen since the 70s and I'm proud to call myself an American but my heritage where I was born is Iranian I myself am Armenian now so many people get all this confused and because we celebrate and we say happy no ruse I've had people ask me how is it that you are talking about no ruse when you are Christian and that is why it's not that I am well let's put it this way here's something else I'm the real mutt and I call it mutt because I am proud of being there. My father is Persian, mother Armenian. And when they wanted to marry, he converted to Christianity and they got married in a church. So not only am I Persian, half Persian, half Armenian. Grandmother from the Armenian genocide time, they were taken from Armenia, Urfa, to Beirut. And in Beirut, she married my grandfather, had three children. So in a way, I have a, that part of me also. And it's so beautiful that my grandmother spoke seven languages. Her native language, which was Armenian, of course. She spoke Turkish, 
Arabic, French, and also English, and knew how to speak Russian and some, what was the French? And that is with absolutely no former education. So language is one of the things that connects us all together. The only languages I speak is Armenian, Farsi, English, and I used to speak French. And maybe one day I will become fluent again. It's all about practice. The reason I'm doing this talk is because, you see, I'm showing you this beautiful spread of the Noruz. And this beautiful spread that is called the haft scene. And the haft scene, of course, today I am in a studio and I was live with Dr. Nelly Farnudi Zahiri and it was on her heel talk, heel, uh, mom talk show. I'm the heel talk, she's the mom talk. Well, the reason for all this is because no matter where we were born and who we are, first and foremost, we are human beings. And I want you to embrace all that you are. And it doesn't matter what color we are, what race we are, what our religion differences are, or even our political differences. Because bottom line, we're all connected as one. And may we not forget that part of it. Because if I cut my arm, my hand, even my finger, if I poke even the little part of my finger, it's going to bleed. And my blood is no golden, no redder than yours. And that is called the human connection, humanity. Humanity of what I put today, the accessories that we are to put upon ourselves. The accessories, may it be a brightness and kindness. So, every single day, move forward in life, wearing brightness and kindness, and know that no matter where you are, you are loved, you are cherished, because somewhere, somehow, without you knowing, you mean so much, you do. First and foremost, you mean a lot to the person within you, that little girl, that little boy that is looking up to you for so much wisdom, guidance, kindness, and love. But more importantly, you mean so much to so many that you may not be aware even at this very moment, if you are on live, if you can see this, if you can be a part of this, place your hand, and I'm going to switch my hand, so you can place your hand upon your heart. And you know how we do the pledge in life, the pledge that we do to say, I accept and appreciate myself fully and completely. That I move forward in life with more open heart, open mind, and a vision to see beyond. That as you are living each and every day, may God's light be with you. And no matter what religion we are, we look up and there is one, one higher power. And every single religion, from Buddhism, from being a Muslim, Christianity, or Judaism, or anyone else, 
We all believe in something greater than us. And there's others who believe the greatness within. And that greatness starts from healing from the inside to the outside. And when you feel good, when you are happy, when you are joyous, and when you have kindness, you spread it, just like they have seen. And they have seen, I will turn this, and I'm going to move, so you can be a part of this entire gorgeous half scene that I'm going to show right here, right now. And look at this beautiful half scene. The beauty and each scene that starts with an S means something. And in a few moments, what I'm going to do is as I share this beautiful half scene, I will put all the explanations there. Here's another thing. There is a, um, now that I'm gone live, a part of today is I'm going to introduce and I'm going to put the information on my site so that you can check it out and go live and uh, do a video with a Iranian or non-Iranian person and let's spread the word of no ruz piruz that means may your life be prosperous in the new year and until next session I bid you goodbye evoke the best within you evoke your passion Evoke what was. Embrace the best in you today, accepting the reality and the present. And may we evolve to the best that there is in life, together as one and unique as who you are, because you matter. Until next session, happy Nuruz. Peter's.